Hello everyone. We will continue the topic about OOPs and we are covering ALV by object oriented programming. Now in this video, we will start how to modify the field catalog which is provided by this particular function module. You all know whenever we are creating the field catalog, we are going by two ways. Either we are using SAP function module or we are manually creating the field catalog. During traditional ALV, traditional ALV means when we used reuse ALV list display or reuse ALV grid display function module, at that time also, we generated the field catalog by two ways. One way is manual and another is SAP function module. At that time, we have the function module reuse underscore ALV underscore field catalog underscore merge. But we are always going for field catalog either by manually or we are using SAP function module. And manual is preferable. Why preferable? Because flexibility is more. You can do anything. Suppose as of now, your creation date has a position 2. Your time has a position 3. Suppose if customer is saying, I want time as a position of 2. I want date as a position of 2. So in that, I want date as a position of three. So it's very easy to accommodate those changes. You can simply make it two. You can simply make it three. If customer asks you to change some label or if customer asks for hotspot functionality, customer asks for edit, customer asks for checkbox. So it's very, very easy to accommodate all those things if you have the manual field catalog because while creating the field catalog itself you can pass that particular property now but it does not mean that yes you will not use this sap function module to generate a field catalog suppose i will go for simple example you are working in a program and in that program there is a SAP function module to generate the field catalog. Suppose I will comment this manual field catalog. Suppose there is a program and in that program, there is a SAP function module to generate the field catalog. How SAP function module is giving us the field catalog? We are passing the structure and we are getting the field catalog internal table. It means whatever is in, is in this structure, field catalog generates based upon that only. Suppose if I will show you the structure as of now, I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will go to SC11. And I will go for this particular structure. So whatever the field catalog we will get, it is based upon these columns only. If I will run this program, so whatever the column positions we are getting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it is totally based upon this structure. Suppose whatever the labels we are getting is it is totally based upon the data elements, data elements of the fields. So in that case, everything is based upon the structure, but you are passing. Now, so many people ask this particular query. Customer asked me to change the position. Suppose if I am running this program. Now customer asked me to change the position of time and this created on. It should be three. It should be two. 
So in that case, do I need to switch to manual field catalog method? Because in case of manual, what you will do? You will simply go for position two of this and position three of this. So many people ask, do I need to switch or do I need to change the whole logic and I have to write manual field catalog means rather than this, do I need to switch on to this particular logic? No, the answer is no. There is no need to hamper the existing logic and switch on to this particular logic. You can simply, simply modify this field catalog internal table. See, we are getting the field catalog and after that, we will simply, simply modify this field catalog internal table. In this field catalog internal table, we will modify the position of this time and date. We will make it two, we will make it three. And after that, anyways, this internal table, we are passing to this particular method set table for first display. This topic is covered in traditional ALV also. At that time also, there are so many queries. I have a program and in that program, the, in that program, there is a SAP function module to generate the field catalog. Now, customer is asking to change the label. Customer is asking to change the position. Do I need to switch on to manual field catalog method? Answer is no. Just simply, simply modify this particular internal table. Now, what so many people will do? And in, during traditional ALV also, I put so much stress on this. Suppose customer asks to change the position of time and date. So what people will do? They will change in this particular structure itself. See, this is a structure which you created through SC11 transaction code. This structure might be used at thousand hundreds of places if you will change the position here, it means all those places will get impacted automatically. And customer will say, I asked to change at one place. All those places got impacted. Suppose customer is asking you to change this particular label. Suppose if I am running this particular program. Suppose customer is saying rather than sales document, I want document number. So what people will do, they will simply change this data element. They will take a data element in which the field label is document number. Just see this particular column is the part of this particular structure. So wherever the structure is using all those places, the label will change to document number. So do not do the change here. Once the field catalog will generate, we will simply modify this particular internal table. You all know you can modify the internal table through modify internal table operation. So this is the way how we have to go. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are covering how to modify the field catalog internal table which is provided by this particular function module, SAP function module. Now, so many people ask this query. I have a program and I assigned a task to change the position or label. So what is there? If, do I need to remove this logic and do I need to switch on to manual? Because people think manual means I will give the position and it will work fine. There's no need to change the logic. Once you will get the field catalog internal table, simply modify that particular internal table. Yes, that is true. Manual has more flexibility. You can do anything. It is very, very easy to accommodate the changes. But it does not mean that if SAP function module is there, after that, you cannot do anything. You can do all these things here also. But the thing is, you need to modify. You need to pass your own label. You need to pass your own position. 
after this particular field catalog you will receive. In the next video, we will write the logic to change the positions as well as the label. We will take a requirement and based upon that requirement, we will go for that. And this topic is covered in traditional ALV also. In traditional ALV, we will study at that point of time how to modify the field catalog which is given by reuse ALV field catalog merge. At that time also we studied this particular thing. So in the next video, we will learn how to modify the field catalog. So that's it in this video. Thank you.